In this episode, we're going to take a GAB2100 and modify it with a AliExpress modification kit. Let's see how we go. Okay, so in the last episode, which was yesterday, we're on a bit of a roll, uh, I was able to very successfully mod a digital square into a titanium band, and it looks really, really good. I'm still, I'm still thinking if I re remove one more bracelet, just to try and get it to fit a little bit tighter, but I'm loving how this looks. It's a really nice feeling watch. It looks kind of cool, the black on the black. Great uh, experience. Now I want to try and actually do a BA20, sorry, a B2100. I think it's a B2100. B2100, correct. So it's a B2100. This is a Bluetooth Tough Solar watch. I uh, got it off Bai as a uh, secondhand watch, but honestly, it's immaculate. Everything's great. Nothing wrong with the watch at all. Um, but I want to try and actually change that with an AliExpress mod kit. Now, Again, I think I purchased a cheap one. This might fail miserably because what we learned from this one was when you spend a little bit more money, everything tends to work out a lot better um, versus cheap. So this one might yield us terrible results. But we're gonna give it a go because what I do plan on doing is using this as a bit of a test run to get used to modding this watch so I can do it with another watch which I've just won, which was a Caution Yellow B2100, which I want to do with a really nice modding kit, maybe one with SKX mod, because I've seen some of their kits, it looks kind of cool. So let's give this a go. Let's see if we can actually successfully mod this watch. Okay, so let's get to work. We've had success with the metal square. It's a nice, uh, nice watch, as you can go ahead and actually see. Uh, very, very nice in terms of the metal band. So now at least I can show you that properly things that we need for our modification. First off, we have our B2100 watch. So you can see that one with the uh, positive display on there. Very classic, but Bluetooth, Tough Solar. Love Tough Solar, always want Tough Solar. Our kit from AliExpress. So what we have very rudimentary package. So this is the, the outside. Um, we'll see how this goes. It doesn't look necessarily as classic as some of the other ones I've seen, uh, but we'll give that a go. It's got its tools in here. Man, that's really jammed in. It's got tools in here, and I think inside the tools, we also have screws as well. So it doesn't look like it's overly complicated. Probably the most complicated thing will be removing the actual bracelets. Um, so we'll leave that there. We'll put this to the side. And I also have the backup lunchbox with everything else here in case we need it. So let's first start by taking off the wrapper. So there is our our watch. So that's going to go into there. So let's see. I mean, okay, I can tell it looks a looks a little bit cheaper, but that's okay. I didn't spend a lot of money. I have to check how much I spent. But let's let's go have a look. Let's first start by taking this apart. So we're going to need to undo the screws here first. So let's try their tools that they actually have, see if they could. Looks like they should be okay. Getting this module out pretty quick. So we're done there. Good work. Next one is to take out The those bands through there. Gives me two of these tools. They're both flathead screwdrivers. So I wonder. Oh, okay. 
So these links, these are flathead screwdrivers in the links. Interesting. So you can remove some of these. Okay, well let's we'll come back to that. Let's get this out first. So use the screwdriver here. I don't want to wreck that. Let's go to the lunchbox. That's what I want. Interesting, it kind of looks like a lot of these different places have the same kit supplies. That's cool. Okay, now we need to take this off. This should just be a case of peeling. All right, module is free. There's all that old stuff, so let's move that over there. Let's just take a look at how this would actually fit in first. I was going to do a t-shirt buff, but I have these cleaners here. Let's give that a go. I'm guessing that goes into there like that. Go straight forward. We'll put that in, and then we can modify the band in a sec. Let's get our screws out. I say this one is a lot smoother to put together because you don't have the finicky challenge of actually attaching the band. The band's already there. So that's kind of it. We need to adjust the band, but let's have a look. That was very straightforward. I mean, let's see if we can adjust the band now. That's, this is where I, I am concerned that the complication will come in. We've been pretty lucky so far. Let's go ahead and take out, let's say, two of these. I'm not sure how this actually works, but let's have a look. Maybe we need this much smaller. See there, it's coming up there. But then what? Oh, okay, we're out. Might be fairly simple. appears to be a much simpler way to do a band. Well, that is pretty close to perfect. It's a tighter fit, but it's on there. 
So there we have it. That was actually a really easy thing to be able to go ahead and do the adjustment on. So there we have a, a version of the Casio in a metal bracelet. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But there's the watch. Band's pretty solid. Looks kind of cool. Uh, fits very snugly. Right, so the taking out those two bracelets actually has made it very snug. Taking it out, I found the trick was to be able to squeeze in the bracelets on the side on these two things and then squeeze the bracelet at the top. And that seems to have been able to free it up. See, it's a little bit finicky. Now I'm probably not going to get it working. Oh, there we go. So we got to undock. So, not a bad mod overall. I mean, it's a fairly solid looking watch. It's respectable as a metal G-Shock. Doesn't have the sort of bells and whistles on it to be able to make it look really sweet, but not a bad watch overall. At least we realize we can go ahead and actually mod that. And it seemed fairly easy to mod a B2100 versus the, uh, uh, the 5610, which we did in the middle square. So really cool we've got it up and running there we have it uh enjoy your modding enjoy your g-shocks and hopefully you have fun like me thanks